make another variable. Let's name it test int two. And let's make that equal to test int two. Let's make that equal to fifty. Now, if we wanted to add two variables, we can just put test int plus test int two. Compile that. And there it is. You can see in our script log, there's our output for our two added variables, 150. Now, what if we wanted to store what those two equal to into another variable? Now, let's just make another variable. Yeah, test in three. Okay, so now let's make test in three equals, and now Let's give it, let's assign it the value test int plus test int 2. Now, test int 3 will equal this variable test int plus this variable test int 2. So let's display that. And there, as you can see in our left, in our little console, 150. Now, now, in order for do math, now the scripting language can do math, um, basic math. So, addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication but it can also do it in a series. So let's say we wanted test int plus test int two plus test int again. So now what this will do is test int, which is 100, plus test int two, which is 50, plus 100 again, which will equal to 50. Now the scripting language will follow the order of operations. For those who have the annoying Fresh, um, the annoying first grade teacher who used to say PENDOS, basically, that's what it is. So if we wanted to add, let's take off this and put 10. So if we were to do this, it would be 100 plus 50 plus 10. So that's 150, that's 150, plus 10, that's 160. So what if we wanted to add 10 to 50 first? We'd put this in parentheses. Now, before it adds test int, it will add these two. Let's give a better example. Close this. Test int plus test int 2 times 10. Now, if you remember order operation, it will be 10 times 50, then we'll add 100 to it. Now, Now let's give a better example. So test int plus test int two times 50 plus 10. Now this will do test int two times 50. So 50 times 50, then 50 times 50 plus the test int which is equal to 100 then plus 10. But what if that's not what we wanted? What if we wanted test int 2 to be multiplied by 60 and not 50? We would use parentheses. 
Now, before it does the multiplication, it will do the addition. So now, test in 2, which is 50, plus 50, times 60 instead of 50. So just remember, the scripting language uses order of operation. As long as you remember that, it will all come into play. <coughs> okay, now let's get rid of all this. Delete that, and delete the variables. Now, there are other types of variables, such as bytes, which is a value from 0 to 255. There's a bowling, which is just true and false. There's a float, which holds decimal values. A string, which is just a series of characters, just how you see on the screen, those are strings. And name, which is just 64 characters. Now, I want to look at strings. String, to declare a string, it's the same way as an int, instead of, instead, our type is now string. So var string, let's name ours test string. Now we have a variable that's a string and its name is test string. So let's go to our, let's make test string equal. Now, <coughs> the difference between um, declaring what a int int equals and what a string equals is quotations so if we want test string to equal dog we don't just type dog we use quotations now test string equals the word dog and just the same way as we display int we display a string so let's compile this wait for our long compile and you'll see dog appear on the screen on the console And there it is on our left left hand side in our console, the word dog. Now unlike unlike int values you cannot just use a plus and minus symbol for strings. Instead, there's two special characters. There's the money sign and the at sign. Now, when you use the at sign between two strings, they will appear with the space between them. So, if we had another variable and name that one kitty now if we were to use if we were to use the at symbol we would get a space between them so when we would print that it would show dog space kitty but if we were to use a money symbol they would combine the strings to make dog key now now these special characters may seem odd at first and believe me they do but 